What's up guys, Ed Ricker here, and what we're doing today is talking about processing log footage with Premiere on a PC. Now, I'm wearing my bamboo shirt today just as a protest against winter. So first of all, you gotta have log footage. I am going to include some log footage in the video description as well as a download link. Second of all, you need to have a LUT or a lookup table, and those convert the log video profile into a standard image that you can then work with a little easier. Uh, now, log footage just in itself is something that's designed to increase the dynamic range of your camera, um, but then also it allows you a little more flexibility in color grading, so you can do a lot more with color profiles, make things look really interesting to whatever look you're looking for. I think that was three looks in a row. Today we're going to process two different types of uh, log footage. V-Log, which is uh, recorded by Panasonic AG DVX 200s, and also D-Log, which is recorded by the Mavic Pro by DJI. Now if you're not working with either of those cameras, that's fine, but what you do is find the LUT that works for your individual camera. So for instance, for the Mavic Pro, I go to the DJI.com slash Mavic website, I click on Downloads, and then right there under Software is the Mavic Pro D-Log LUT, which you would then download here, or in the case of the Panasonic AGDVX200, you would scroll down on their Downloads page and you would see it right here, V-Log L2 V709 LUT. Now once you download those, you have to figure out where to put them. So we're gonna go to C Drive, Program Files, Adobe, Premiere Pro 2017, Lumetri, LUTs, Technical. And that's where I have the V709 for DVX200.cube, as well as the D-Logs for Rec709.cube for the Mavic, as well as some other things that came preloaded with Premiere. So let's get out of that, get out of the website, and now we're here in Premiere. Now, I already have the Mavic footage in here that I want to affect, but I'm also going to add in my DVX200 footage. All right, so now that we're in, we have our footage. This is the Mavic footage, this is the DVX200 footage. So let's go to the Mavic footage, because we're in the color workspaces. You see the Lumetri color window on the right. So what we're gonna do is find the LUT.cube uh, file that we had just added to our folder. So we're gonna use this one, D-Log to Rec709. Instantly, we get some awesome color and contrast. Go over to the DVX200 footage, and let's put in our DVX200 V-Log to V709 cube file. Okay, not so much of a big drastic change here. So let's start with the Mavic footage. I'm going to add exposure. Let's do uh, two on the exposure, just to get a little bit of a brighter image. I'm also gonna add a little bit of contrast, add a little bit of detail back into the shadows. So if we go like 30 on the details, you'll see that we have a little more a little more detail, a little bit brighter on the shadows here in the trees and over there at the ground. Um, I'm also going to get a little bit of the highlights, just see a little bit more of the sky detail like that. It is a bit blue though, so what I'm gonna do is get rid of all of my settings, put these all back to zero essentially, and we're going to go to creative right here. And we're going to go to some of these looks for the Mavic. Now, some of these are dark, some of these are a little bit different, but my favorite here is 3010, right there. Now let's add our exposure back. Let's add a little bit of contrast back. Bump up our shadows again, because we want to see a little bit of detail in the shadows. And then we're also going to add 20 to our saturation. Now, this is a pretty cool look. I don't mind this, and I think it's because it's a little less blue, so we've kind of gotten a little bit more of a cinematic look. We've uh, dropped the blueness of the sky and the blueness of the water. So, let's just toggle it on and off just to see where we were at before. And this is what we have now. Let's go over to the V-Log here. All we've done is add our input LUT. Now, we could add some looks. This time, I'm gonna add something designed more for a camcorder style. Let's go to this one. Let's actually drop our exposure just a little bit because it looks a little bright to me. Uh, we're also going to add a little of the contrast. We're going to up our saturation to 140. That uh, might be too much, 130, how about that? There we go, got a little bit more uh, green in the grass. Let's drop our shadows even just a little bit. Now we have a much more contrasty image, something a little bit more moody. We could even uh, bring our highlights up just a little bit. Now let's see what it looks like without a look. So I'm gonna go to none on the looks. So we're gonna go 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 100. And so that is back to the original LUT. 
with none on the looks. Now we're going to add our contrast back in. We'll go pretty high in the contrast, maybe even 60. Uh, saturation, let's go 140. Let's make our highlights a little higher, make our shadows a little darker. So really, it's whatever you're going for. There are a ton of looks in here, a ton of things that can make things look really off the wall or really cool. There's really high contrast situations like this. There are certain uh, color uh, looks where you might not even have to affect any of your tone if you want to have something a little more uh, extreme like this. Now when you're going through some of these, you will see uh, HDR, LDR, NDR. HDR is high dynamic range. So if I were to click that, we would see an image that has a little less contrast and a little more definition in the lights and the, the darks, as opposed to low dynamic range, where you really see all of a sudden your brights get really hot and your blacks get really black, um, and then neutral would be N. So um, you also have things that may look like they're uh, shot at night. This is a blue day for night. So now we just took a video in moonlight. How about that? So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's pretty easy once you actually get the file, the LUT from the download links of the different respective cameras you're shooting log in. If you like the video, subscribe because I'm doing videos like this all the time. Um, and give me a comment too if you got a question or a suggestion. And until next time, happy editing, guys.